Hey everybody, this is Shock, and I have an announcement to make. And by the way, I hope you are doing awesome. I'm doing great. Let me get over here real quick around this slow guy here. But I, I want to tell you about a new feature that is at our website. And if you look below this video, you'll see our website. I'll also put an annotation here. And there's some free things that you can get at our website now especially if you are a Christian and you're witnessing to people that are saying God does not exist you're gonna find these tools very valuable and all of them are free and we've been equipping uh, Christians to go out on YouTube and face to face and on the internet and witness to people that say, well, God does not exist. And we've been doing quite well with this. Hold on, let me get over here. So let me tell you about the new feature here. When you go here, shockonow.net, it's www.shockawenow.net, right below the video. You're gonna see there on the main page at the top, it'll say like a uh, podcast podcast and music and when you click it what will happen is it will play different debates between atheists and Christians and it will play them right out of your speakers now these were live debates where you can hear the crowds reaction and the applauding and the booing etc you know and you will learn a lot so I'm going to give you an example of a little, if you want to call it a debate, that um, I won uh, last night, and and um, so I'll, I'll go through that with you. Now, also, if you want to have a conversation, a debate, whatever you want to call it, and you believe that God does not exist, or you're an atheist, etc., I challenge you, I want the best atheist on YouTube to go to our chat room, because uh, we have the best Christian theist in our chat room. I mean, these guys and gals are awesome, and I've never seen them uh, lose a debate when you go to our chat room right below here at shockonow.net. So let me go through a couple of points with you, and you'll learn this if you go to shockonow.net and listen to the podcast on the existence of God, etc. So let's go through some points. Um, we had an atheist come into the room yesterday, and I said, look, yeah, and I was very kind. I wasn't being mean to him or anything. I was extremely kind and, and welcoming. And I said, look, um, you go ahead and you take the side of atheism and give us some good arguments why we should even believe that atheism's true. And I told him that I left atheism because the lack of proof, evidence, anything, science, anything, showing that it was true. There's nothing that shows atheism's true. So, he says, okay, and I said, talk as long as you want. I'm not even going to put a time limit on. Well, he only talked for like five minutes, and he could provide no arguments. He basically said that um, he doesn't have to prove atheism is true. And then, um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I said, and then I didn't say anything rude at all, but he got destroyed, his arguments got destroyed in this debate, so he left the conference room in a huff. He like just uh, clicked out and, and escaped, you know? And everyone was kind of laughing. Well, what, here's what happened, why he, how his arguments got destroyed. First of all, he didn't give any arguments in the beginning um, until after I started where I was gonna give my arguments. Then he jumped in and he destroyed himself. What happened was I said, well, why should someone believe that atheism is true? Give us some good arguments. When you go into a debate, if you're in a debate and, you, and you're saying, well, I believe atheism is true, and then we say, okay, give us the arguments for it, and you say, well, I don't have to do that, then you've lost the debate by default. So he stuttered and stammered and tried to uh, give some arguments, and basically it all got down to he was saying God was evil. <laughs> He was saying God was evil, and um, and I'm I'm like, well, give me scripture where it shows where God did evil, 
And then something in my mind said, I don't even think this guy's read the Bible. Yet he's coming in and he's going to debate a Christian uh, like me that's read the Bible many times and have listened to it many times on audio. Matter of fact, you'll get a free audio Bible below there. So he admits he's never even read the Bible. So I said, well, who do you think is more qualified to speak on God of the Bible, you or I? You know, I mean, it's just so ridiculous. So my atheist friends and my uh, friends that reject God, when you come to the chat room, make sure you've read the Bible. You know, make sure that you're you're up on the historicity of Jesus Christ. So let's go through some points. Let me see how long I've been talking. Uh, only about almost six minutes. Um, but let me tell you when the guy left in a huff, okay? And then I'm going to tell you, give you some arguments for God's existence. He was talking about how God was evil and, and all this other stuff. And I said, and like, basically, I'm like, you really believe that? He's like, yes, God's evil. And I said, well, thanks for playing my atheist friend. You just admitted God exists. See, by saying God is evil, you're just expressing your opinion about God. But nowhere there are you denying his existence. And the guy realized he got pwned and he got real upset with me and he, he just left the room. And everyone was laughing because he did, he actually helped the Christian argument by admitting God exists. How could he say God's evil if God doesn't exist? He didn't say, um, well, this made up God or he's a false God or whatever. He actually is claiming God exists. So let me go through some arguments now for God's existence. You know, if you look at the Big Bang, you guys have heard this. If you look at the Big Bang, it's not what the atheist will tell you where there was this, um, let me see what freeway I'm going to, I'm going to go left here, where there was this little pellet like the size of a baseball and then it expanded and created all this universe and Saturn and Jupiter and, uh, you know, the moon. I mean, if you tell that to a 12 year old kid, he'll laugh at you in the face. Even kids realize that's so stupid. Well, what the Big Bang actually really is, they shouldn't really call it the Big Bang because it's a very exquisitely fine-tuned event. If it wasn't, if, if some of the constants were just right at the start of the, the uh, Big Bang, the universe would cease to exist. Now, the, the atheist if he's claiming God doesn't exist, he has to also claim that the, the universe was created out of nothing. Because all of nature, all of the universe was created in the Big Bang. There was not a uh, baseball size pellet uh, that expanded and created everything. Uh, even in the singularity, it had a beginning. So it's like this, imagine a cone and you and you go back in time and the cone gets smaller and smaller to where there's nothing. And that's the Big Bang. So there's only two ways that the universe could be created. Either it was a natural creation, but this is impossible because that would mean that the universe had to create itself out of nothing. It'd have to be there first to create itself. And that's not what the Big Bang says. The Big Bang says there was nothing. There was no little baseball sized pellet uh, that always existed and is eternal from time. No, no, no. Look at this uh, truck. It says Pizza Square. I guess it's like a pizza place on wheels. That's pretty cool. I wish it was open. I'd buy a couple of slices. Um, so anyways, back to what I was saying. So think about it, guys, and this is how a lot of my friends that were atheists and a lot of you guys on YouTube that were unbelievers uh, have come to become Christians because you realize how could the universe, all of this, create itself out of nothing? We know scientifically out of nothing, nothing comes. Nothing can't create everything. It had to be a timeless, some, something that did not have to be created because you can't just have an infinite regress. 
It had to be something uh, timeless. And, and therefore, when you ask folks, what do you think makes more sense, a natural cause or a supernatural cause? Something outside of nature, by far, eight out of 10 people I talk to, if they're honest, they'll say there's no possible way the universe created itself. Now, there are atheists, I kid you not, when you go to shotgunnow.net and listen to the podcast, they, they'll say, well, the universe lifted itself up by its bootstraps. These are major atheist debaters saying this. It, they, that's what they're saying, and the universe created itself. It lifted itself up by its bootstrap. It, it's just madness. These guys that say that they're living in a, you know, a delusional uh state of mind. Now let's go back to some other things. In order for the universe also to exist, there are certain constants. Okay, now what a constant is, uh, is something that scientists put, it's like a mathematical equation where like gravity needs to be a certain way or the atomic weak force needs to be a certain way, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And if certain constants are not a certain way, in other words, fine-tuned to a certain extent, then the universe would cease to exist. Now, again, the atheist has to really use faith. Everything about atheism is faith. They have to have faith that all this happened by chance. And it's quite embarrassing when we have the, the atheist come into the chat room and they're willing to fall on the sword and say it's all chance. But a rational, logical person, when you look at the mathematical numbers of this, and here's what I want you guys to do. Um, let me finish my sentence. But when you look at the mathematical numbers of this, it it's actually quite embarrassing if someone says it's all chance. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for those people that say that. Click here below and go to, when you go to my page, you'll see it there, it says podcast. You don't have to download anything at all. It streams right on your uh, out of your speakers. It'll say uh, music and podcast and click that one and listen to the debate uh, Jesus, how Jesus Christ is resurrected, uh, God exists. Listen to the science of it. And also if you're a uh, person that rejects God's existence I challenge you bring your best uh, atheist agnostic whatever, bring your best person to our chat room I challenge you, I lay down the gauntlet, I want you to come in and give us some good arguments why you believe atheism is true, and we're going to give you very good arguments why we believe Christianity is true, and I guarantee you the Christians will win every single time. We've had zero, we've had zero people from the opposing side that have been able to provide any arguments that atheism is true. Zero. Now, we must have had, uh, probably in just the past week, well over 50 atheists uh, attempt to do it. And some of them, like if you have a headset mic, you got to have a headset mic to do it because you're going to be talking with us. So what I want you guys to do is go into that room, bring your atheist friends, bring your most bold, the one you think is the most intelligent, and bring them into that chat room, and we challenge you to give us good arguments why atheism is true, and I guarantee when the smoke clears, you will see that atheism is not true. It's a fallacy. What we've found, what usually happens is the atheist will state opinion. He'll say, well, I don't believe God exists. But see, the Christian will state science, archaeological proof, historical proof, and the Christian every single time wins. And I'm telling you, especially if you're a Christian, um, you should come into these chat rooms too because it will increase your confidence that you're right, Christianity is true, you've made the right decision, and all the more you'll want to uh, help our brothers and sisters that are in the uh, humanist worldview religion of atheism. You'll want to help them out of it. So I invite all Wiccans, Pagans, Atheists, Agnostics, Vegetarians, Meat Eaters, Conservatives, Liberals, 
I'll see you at shotgunout.net. Don't forget to go to the podcast. God bless you guys. Have a great week.